Hey folks, I wanted to talk to y'all about Chinese goods, period. Any kind of thing from China. They got an American name on it. The product is not as good. It's inferior to an American product. This guitar right here, this white and black one, is a Charvel Jackson. The value of it has been increased by all of this Chinese junk because it's American and it's a high quality, inexpensive guitar in its time. This guitar over here, the acoustic, is a Japanese guitar which is a high quality instrument that I value very much and seldom have I heard a guitar that sounds better than it and last but not least this guitar is made in Indonesia it's a Fender Squire and it has a great tonality to it it sounds as real as the day is long and uh, it wouldn't surprise me a bit if it had pretty good materials in it. But the Chinese, they are masters of deception. They are metallurgists. And, and these, this metallurgy thing is where people, and believe me folks, people have gained the technology to mix aluminum and stainless steel. And this is a reality. And I've read up on this, man. And people are doing it, man. The Chinese are doing it. And they're mixing lead and uh, other types of metal weakening the steel so you guys wind up getting an inferior product that breaks on you very easily man and uh, there's a lot of things to worry about you know little pieces of metal like a crow's foot the thing that holds the uh, string in on the guitar uh, the tuners you know holding the strings on there that you wind up and tighten on the headstock uh, to keep the strings exactly tight and with a certain amount of tension and no no slippage you know so this is an issue that we're all concerned about and uh, the Chinese are masters of deception like I said they make beautiful looking things that are fake as a cotton picking day is long brother I'm telling you ain't no shit to it a lot of you don't understand that when you handle these products with lead and other materials inside, you're getting aluminum poisoning, which is related to Alzheimer's disease. You're getting lead poisoning in the pots and pans. They're heavy. They look good. They feel like they're quality because they're heavy, like they got a lot of good metal in them. No, it's lead in the bottom of them. Melted lead and a fake copper bottom stuck on the bottom of the pot. And I know what I'm talking about, folks. You leave the shit on the burner too long and it'll look like mercury because that's what lead looks like, melted lead. And the bottom will come off of it and you'll see that molten lead in there. And uh, This stuff goes in your body and your skin, folks, in your hands. It goes into your bloodstream and into your bodily organs, you know, your liver, your kidneys, your heart, your brain, everywhere, okay? Understand this. This is serious. These Chinese products are not as good as American products, not even close to it. They look good and that's all they are. They ain't worth a shit for usage. Junk.